SIG P365 and peanut butter caliber 9mm has an overall length of 5.8 inches, a height of 4.3, that's with the flush magazine, a width of 1 inch, overall barrel length of 3.1 inches, trigger, mine's coming in just above 6 pounds, has night sights 3 dot, weighs 17.8 ounces, that's with an empty magazine, comes with a 10 plus 1 flush mag or a 12 plus 1 extend mag, I also have the 15 round, making 15 plus 1 Hope you guys enjoy the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just wanted to go over how a Glock fanboy ended up with the SIG for my everyday carry. Uh, so I have to say I did start with the Glock 26 uh, Gen 4. This was my primary off-duty carry for many, many years. Um, many rounds through this uh, firearm not one issue it's a Glock uh, as you know they work there's nothing wrong with them they don't have the you know best trigger they don't look the best but they work and that's my draw towards Glock the only thing I did to this was change out the sights uh, Glock does come with horrible plastic sights uh, put a TLR6 on it and put some grip that's about it everything internally stays stock for my everyday carries I don't do anything as far as the trigger goes or internals I like to keep them stock and this 26 has done me well. I mean, I, I carried it for many years, but I wanted something with a little bit more round capacity. Uh, the thickness of the Glock was starting to get to me after carrying it for so many years. I wanted something thinner, but like I said, I wasn't ready to move away from Glock. And I wanted something with more round capacity. I know the 43 was out there, but... I wasn't ready to make that jump yet so I went to my local gun store and found the Gen 5 Glock 19 MOS and I picked this up so I went from the 26 to the 19 and I slapped a hollow sun red dot which is they're fantastic for the money um, I wasn't about to you know spend five six hundred dollars on a Trijicon RMR um, so I went with the hollow sun it's I mean it, it does what it needs to do it's 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 a good red dot I put suppressor height sights on it TLR 7a and this was my everyday carry uh, I carried I got this around winter last year so about a year ago and I was able to carry it no problem conceal it no problem with a larger jacket on even with the t-shirt on this it's, it's easy to conceal um, but after carrying it for about a year again I decided one I wanted a new gun and two I wanted something thinner something that I can just you know carry appendix and not feel like you know there's a brick uh, between my belly and my belt so I started doing some research and I found the Glock 43X and it seemed like a perfect fit for me so I went ahead and went to the local gun store and rented the 43x now when i was running my 43x the guy behind the counter said hey we just got a p365 in uh for rental if you want to shoot that as well and kind of compare and see you know my, in, in my head like i said i'm a glock fanboy and i was saying no way there's there's absolutely no way i'm not going with anything else besides glock for my everyday carry um because they work and, and that's the only reason i was you know stuck on glock i can trust them with my life I know they will function, I know they'll work, and they'll do what they're supposed to do. Uh, I don't care about, you know, the fancy trigger, uh, anything like that. I just, they work. So, I went in there, rented the 43X, and the guy said, listen, I will let you rent the P365 at no additional cost. You just pay for the ammo, and you just tell me what you think. You, you, you compare the two, and I'm curious to see what you think. Um, and I think he kind of caught on to me being like a Glock fanboy and not wanting to try anything else. So um, it was what he was carrying, and he said, you just got to try. He said, I was the same way, Glock, 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 and then I tried the SIG, and it'll, it'll change your mind. So I said, whatever. Started shooting the 43X, was like, this is it. This is the one I'm going with. Uh, it's a Glock. It works. Uh, it's thinner. Uh, it's going to be easier to conceal for me, and this one I'm going with. So I said, I'll just go ahead and put 20 rounds through the SIG and call it a day as soon as i and these all these firearms are clear check them before video and 
There's nothing in there, nothing in the chamber, nothing in there. Empty. Um, as soon as I put my hands around this P365, it was a aha moment for me. Like, oh wow, I have small hands to begin with, so getting my hand around a Glock is, is a challenge. The 43X was a little bit easier, but they are still that, you know, boxy square filling. Not the most comfortable. As soon as I put my hands around the P365, I knew I was in trouble. Um, it just felt so good in the hand. And then I, you know, put some rounds down range and it was just so easy for me personally to shoot. Um, it was easy to get rounds on target. Um, the, there was no crazy muzzle flip. The recoil, you know, it's manageable for a, such a small light firearm. It's just really manageable. Um, the sights that it came with were already good to go. Um, I did not have any issues as far as reliability goes. That was one of my concerns. You know, I've heard when the P365 was released that there was some, you know, quality control issues there with the P365. In, in my mind, I knew that was a no for me when I first heard about it. I was like, there's no way I would, you know, try SIG after that. But as soon as I shot this, I knew. Uh, this was going to be my everyday carry. Um, obviously, I, even after I purchase a firearm for everyday carry, I will put quite a few rounds through it to make sure it's good to go. Um, and I didn't get to put as many because of the ammo shortage through this, but what I did put through it, uh, I think I'm about 600, 650 rounds through it now. I'll have to check my notebook. Um, and not one issue. Um, there's, there's not one malfunction. Nothing's wrong with it. It works. And I love it. So... Uh, the round capacity, usually what I carry it with, it does come with the flush mag, the 10 plus 1. I carry the 12 plus 1, the 12 round mag, just because it gives me something a little bit more to grab onto there. Uh, the flush is no problem, you can do it, it's really easy to conceal, but even with this 12, this one here, it's still really easy to conceal. It's so thin, so narrow, um, no printing, I never print, whether I'm carrying it on my side. Most of the time, I usually carry Penix, but most of the time I carry it just on my side with a t-shirt in uh, this Vetter holster here and this pancake holster and I love it I mean it's super comfortable no printing it's a lot of fun at the range and like I said no issues but this SIG here uh, made me you know question a lot of those firearms I, I passed up in the you know I turned down in the past because of being such a Glock fanboy but I have to admit, besides the uh, practical aspects of you know this being a really good option for concealed carry, the idea of having a SIG in a, a little bit different you know platform in my safe was also on the back of my mind. You know, it's good to have some diversity in your safe, so uh, that was also there. But the last thing I really want to say about this is the trigger. Um, I, as I said earlier in the video, I, I wasn't really a person who really cared that much as far as having the best trigger or doing any kind of trigger jobs with my everyday carry, keep them stock. This blew me away. I mean, there's a little bit of take up there. Um, it's a 6.2 pound trigger and uh, a little bit of take up there and then you hit that wall and then you get that clean, crisp break and it is just beautiful. You hear that? Then the reset. I mean, that is just clean and crisp, and I, I never knew uh, how much of a difference that quality of a trigger w would make. Just even in my everyday carry, when it comes to the uh, Glocks, you kind of get what you get with their trigger. They're not ideal, but they're not, you know, the worst. You just gotta practice with them like anything else. And um, but, I mean that. I mean, I, I, like I said, I don't mind the Glock trigger. You just got to practice with it, get used to it. But there, the SIG is, I mean, they 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 knocked it out of the park with this concealed carry. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the 43X. Uh, I love shooting that as well. It was it was a it was a good option. What I think it really came down to was just that that fill in my hand. It just felt uh, you know more natural to me than grabbing onto the Glock, which is a little bit bulkier, a little bit bigger. And my smaller hands do have a little bit of trouble getting around that. 
um, and getting a good just purchase on it. But with this SIG, I mean, it just feels so much more natural to my smaller hands. Um, so if you're a person with smaller hands, this is definitely a good option. And it, 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 just, it just feels better in the hand to me. So I just kind of wanted to share briefly my my uh, evolution from the from the Glock 26 to the P365. I'm really happy with this purchase. I'm really happy with this uh, choice for everyday carry. It may not be for everybody, but if you're on the fence, I would encourage you to go out and just uh, obviously shoot the firearms that you're you're considering and see which one you know will work for you. Each person is very different. Different size hands. Different you know mechanics. Different you know eyes everything all that matters so the best thing you can do is go out and just shoot it for yourself but I do have to say if you're on the fence and you don't even want you know maybe this isn't even on, on your radar I would tell you to, to at least go out and put some rounds through it um, and I promise you you will not dis be disappointed even if it's not for you for everyday care you will not be disappointed in this fire um, it, this, this however is not my option for home defense this is my option for the home defense is the, this is the Glock 19. My wife can shoot this. Um, I can, you know, has the light. I think it's vital to have a light on your home defense firearm. This I want to keep as is. No lights, no extra grip, no changing of the sights, no red dot, just as is. I love it how it is. It's sleek. It's easy to carry. I'm not worrying about anything. Uh, when I put it in my holster or carrying it, there's no extra weight it's as concealable as it can be and that's the way i want it so guys i appreciate you stopping by thanks for checking out my channel if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below any concerns um, be sure to like and subscribe i have some more videos coming out i'll see you on the next one peace